Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are totally going to be checking out the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse. Well, I think it's the Scarecrow, right? Let me double check the box on this one. Yep, that says the Scarecrow right there. Although, uh, I'm really not too familiar with this version. Uh, but yeah, this is from the new DC Comics Fear State. It's a different look for old Jonathan Crane for the Infinite Frontier. But uh, I kind of prefer what they got going on on the back of the box, to be honest with you, right? Scarecrow. Needs a little bit of more hat action. Here's the barcode for when these start to hit store shelves now. This one came from the McFarlane Toy Store. But in either case, I'm curious. I'm curious. Hope you're curious too. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, The Scarecrow from Infinite Frontiers Fear State. And while I got all you scarecrows here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, we'll jump right into it. Good old scarecrow here. He's got the black stand, of course. Pops right into his feet. Helps him stand. Although, he stands pretty good on his own, to be honest with you. This is a completely different take on the scarecrow. It's the new and improved... I wouldn't say improved, but it's it's interesting to say the least, right? It's very, for me, how I always describe it, like Kenner, Legends of the Dark Knight, right? Very interesting. This is supposed to be straw on the back. It, it just doesn't translate well because it's missing a lot of paint. If you look at the comic book source material, you get a better idea of what you're kind of looking at. I think that that's another thing. It doesn't really translate well to plastic what am I even looking at anyways? You know what I mean? But if there was extra paint all over this thing, like there would be a ton of paint, maybe even go with different colors, maybe more of the brown, right? Because this is taken kind of sort of from a particular panel where he's just in different colored lights. But he looks like he's got a shake weight attached to his face, right? <laughs> what is his mouth supposed to be? It The shake weight thing looks like now it's like a beard. He's like a Japanese ghost, or something, you know, it, the hair is wild. It Again, it's interesting. I'm glad they're trying something different, but he's got a lot of that, what, Arkham Asylum, Arkham, you know, city kind of a scarecrow things going on with the, the nails. He also looks very feminine, right, with those nails as opposed to being the scarecrow. I don't see the scarecrow in this one, if you, if you just in so many words, right? The figure itself... You can kind of hide his arm. I kind of like that, right? That's There's good aspects of this thing, but largely it's it's going to be like, if, if this is your thing, go for it. But uh, everything is is sculpted and done nice. We'll say that. But there's no, art, there's no articulation in the head, but the body, surprisingly, with all of this, like he looks like he fell into a thrift store, right? Like anything just stuck to him. There is a surprising amount of articulation in this guy. The straw on the back... Does not work. It's all in the same color plastic. It just doesn't work. <laughs> it's simple as that. You can see the multi-layers. I just wish that all the layers were better utilized in creating the figure. In the same time, you do get a surprising amount of articulation in this guy. He even has an ab crunch with all this excessive plastic on him. He actually has a new articulation and he's double jointed. He's got the upper torso. He's got the waist. So... That's cool to see. The legs, I think the legs are the best part about this guy because it's the most like scarecrow thing about him. Although the legs could have definitely improved upon with some more paint. But uh, yeah, like I said, there's good and bad things about this guy. If you look at again at the source material, it's, you know, it's it's there. It's, it's kind of sort of there. But then again, not really at all. It's just kind of odd. And I will say, as far as photography goes, you can achieve some freaky looking photos, right? It's the Scarecrow, so you can still have some fun. Maybe put a few different layers on top, right? Put a little uh, red eyes on the guy, make him super extra creepy, right? A little black and white action. Maybe put a little 
fear toxin. See, that's the other thing. This scarecrow doesn't use fear toxin now. The whole fear state thing is like a sense of being. It doesn't work for me, I'm sorry. Now, in terms of the scaling, once again, I would say this. If you use like these three characters, for instance, that you could attribute to the fear state comic book, Ghostmaker and Scarecrow go together. Scarecrow and Batman go together, but Ghostmaker, Scarecrow, and this Batman don't go together scale-wise if you get my drift. However, if you use the three Jokers Batman, I think that those match up a whole heck of a lot better, but then it's not really the costume that Batman... You see what's going on here? I'm nitpicking the heck out of this. We got to work on scale. That's the most important part. But in all the different Scarecrows that I have gotten over the years... I give, it, I give it to him. It, it's different. It's a different take on Scarecrow, but I can't say it's my favorite. This one, however, uh, this one will always be my favorite. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the Fear State Scarecrow from Infinite Frontier. You got to put all that in there. And again, interesting. It's just sorely lacking on paint. It's got great articulation. It's got great things in it but it just doesn't hit that mark you know what i mean so this one i'm gonna say is definitely a pass unless you're just a huge fan of that comic book so you've heard my thoughts and now i'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything dc multiverse and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember when it comes to the scarecrow fear is the name of the game and when you do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios